Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR today. We're talking about Starship SN15, SpaceX's successful launch and landing of the Starship. We are talking about that and what it means going forward for SpaceX. We're also going to look at the SN16 today and a little news from Blue Origin. So if you want to know all about that, be sure you stick to the whole episode. Also, drop a like in the video, as always. Stay on the side of the YouTube algorithm. Let's just get right into the science. So right here, we have a photo of the SN15 from Space Padre. This right here, it's actually on a transport vehicle. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, why that is. But first, let's talk what happened on May 5th. So the Starship successfully, a lot of people thought it was scrubbed because it went on later in the day, but the Starship successfully launched, did the belly flop maneuver, and landed. Now right here, we have photos from Jack Bayer. This is showcasing the landing of the SN15. There's really not much good footage or video from the SN15. Again, they did it on another cloudy, foggy day. So as soon as this thing got a few hundred feet or whatever uh, metric you're watching from uh, into the sky, it was into the clouds. It wasn't much time you could really see this thing. SpaceX's own footage was lagging and stopping the entire time. So these photos right here, it does show that the SN15, it successfully landed. And this time it didn't explode. So the it has that uh, enhanced feature that the SN10 didn't. So although it did land successfully, there was a fire on, on the landing. That was from a methane leak. That's something SpaceX is still looking to address. The fire went out after about 20 minutes. And again, it didn't explode. Nobody was hurt. Nothing like that. So this is a successful uh, launch and landing. A tremendous step forward for SpaceX. This is going to bring back a lot of information of what they need. So now the problem, or I wouldn't say the problem, but it's what are they going to do with the SN15? We're going to talk about that because we have conflicting things here. So we look here, Jack Bayer, he also tweeted this photo, or I'm sorry, video of the Tankzilla, as they call it, going to retrieve the SN15, and they ended up putting it back on to the little transport vehicle. You can see here from this photo, Mary Boga Chigigao. So this is going to get it transported from where it is now. The question is where and what are they going to do with it? So as we know, there was a methane leak that's caused the fire. That's one thing that they need to address. Another thing that they also need to address is these landing legs. This is from Starship Gazer. Now these landing legs are actually somewhat crumpled right here. You can see from that landing. So they're not going to be able to land on these again. That's not the biggest issue with this Starship, of course. It is something that does need to be fixed if they're going to refly this. And why do I say if they're going to refly this when they just, you know, test it and break down inside and see other components what went wrong? Well, Elon Musk, he did tweet that he, the SpaceX, they want to refly SN15. They want to do it soon. How soon? They haven't said. And, you know, what are they going to have to do in the meantime? Because he is saying this, that, that SpaceX wants to refly the SN15. Other people are also saying that SpaceX wants to kind of break down the SN15 and see other components that went wrong. They know the obvious components that went wrong, the methane and the landing legs, but there could be things inside as they dig deeper that went wrong that they also need to address. So I'm sure over the next few days, they're going to be completely going through SN15 regardless to see anything else. But in the meantime, what are they going to do with the SN15 and the SN16? So you can see here the SN16 is still in the high bay. And according to SpaceX employees, the actual net launch of the SN16 is about two weeks from now that they want to launch this. So are we going to see a two possible Starship launches and landings within the next two weeks? You guys, let me know in the comments what you think or if you guys heard any other info regarding this. Because that, that again, that's the most info that I have heard is that they want to do SN16 within two weeks. But Elon Musk also tweeted they want to do SN15 soon. It's really you know, conflicting information, I just don't see them doing two launches that close to each other because they need time to break down and figure out what went wrong or what went right also. However, that is what we know right now regarding these starships and what's going forward for SpaceX. Also, let's talk about a little bit of Blue Origin, their competitor, the one that tried to stop the uh, NASA contract as if that's going to make a difference. So you can now bid for the very first seat on the new Shepard. That's right. So if you are watching this right now and you have excess of probably tens of millions of dollars at the bare minimum, you can put your name in at blueorigin.com. Sign up to get this auction seat for the new Shepard uh, bunny hop. That's right. You can do it, folks. I, I believe in you. Um, again, it's a big paywall. Understandably, it's kind of like Blizzard Network. But, you know, 
you, you got to throw some money at it. And you got to hope for the best. Put 20 bucks in the auction, and maybe you'll come out ahead, and you'll be on that flight. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you guys in today's episode. If I find out more information about what they're going to do with these starships, I will be sure to let you guys know. Anyways, be sure to have a good one.